Welcome to the Hydrogenation of Benzene to Cyclohexane series for Aspen Plus version 10. This video series serves as an introduction to Aspen Plus for chemical engineering students studying material and energy balances. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the RADFRAC distillation column, which will be later implemented in our hydrogenation model. We will create a plot of our RADFRAC results. And additionally, we will use a design specification and vary block to obtain a specific mass purity of a component by varying the reflux ratio. After opening a blank simulation, add methanol, water, and phenol in the individual component ID cells. Then, switch to the main flow sheet. And in the Columns tab of the model palette, drag a RADFRAC column onto the main flow sheet. Select the material icon and then create inlet and outlet streams for the RADFRAC column. After, remember to cancel insert mode. Next, we will name the streams of the RADFRAC model. Name the S1 stream to 1 feed. Then, name the S2 stream to 2 top. Finally, name the S3 stream to 3 bottom. Now, switch to the Properties tab. In the Navigation pane, open Specifications in the Methods folder and select NRTLRK as the method name. Finally, double-click NRTL1 in the Binary Interaction folder to display the interaction parameters of our components. After switching to the Simulation tab, Access the Specifications menu for the One Feed Stream. Specify the temperature of the stream to be 65 degrees Celsius and pressure to 1.7 bar. Then, change the flow basis to mass and specify the flow rate to 4,530 kg per hour. After, specify the composition to mass frac with a value of 0.6 for methanol 0.39 for water, and 0.01 for phenol. Then, switch to the Specifications menu for the B1 RADFRAC block. Specify the number of stages to be 10, and change condenser type to be total. Then, in the Operating Specifications box, specify the distillate rate to mass base with a value of 2,720 kg per hour. For reflux ratio, specify the base to mass. From our DSTW model, the predicted reflux ratio was 0.64. It is recommended to use a reflux ratio 20% higher than this value, so our reflux ratio 0.8 will be used. Switch to the Streams tab. Specify the stage for the one feed stream to be 6. Then, switch to the Pressure tab. For the stage 1 condenser pressure, specify the value to be 1.1 bar. For the stage pressure drop, provide a value of 2 in water. Then, run the simulation. In the B1 folder, select Results. The condenser top stage performance temperature should be approximately 68 degrees Celsius, with a heat duty value of approximately negative 1.34 gigacals per hour. For the reboiler bottom stage performance, the temperature should be approximately 98 degrees Celsius with a heat duty value of approximately 1.4 gigacals per hour. Then, switch to the results of the two top stream. The mass fraction of methanol should be approximately 0.96. After, in the B1 folder, select Profiles. Various measurements of each stage of the distillation process will be shown. Switch to Compositions tab, and the mass composition of each component will also be displayed at each stage of the distillation process. It is sometimes helpful to create a graph of our results. To do so, in the Column Design tab toward the top, select the Temperature Graph, and a plot of temperature versus each stage of the distillation process will be shown. Now we will create the design specification block. This will be used to achieve a mass purity of 99.6% in the RADFRAC distillation column by varying the reflux ratio. 
To do so, in the Specifications folder of the B1 folder, select the Design Specifications folder. Create a new Design Specification block. In the Design Specification box, specify the type to be Mass Purity. Then, specify the target to be 0.996. Switch to the Components tab. Within the Available Components box, select Methanol. Click the single arrow to specify methanol as the component being manipulated. Then, switch to the Feed Product Streams tab. Within the Product Streams box, select Two Top, and click the single arrow to specify the Two Top stream being referenced. Now, we will create a vary block to manipulate the reflux ratio to achieve our mass purity of 99.6%. In the Navigation pane, select the Vary folder and create a new vary block. Specify the adjusted variable type to be reflux ratio. Provide a lower bound of 0.5 and an upper bound of 8. Then, run the simulation. Switch to the Results tab of the Vary Block menu. There, the final value of approximately 7.5 will be the reflux ratio needed to obtain a 99.6% purity of methanol. Finally, save the file as a compound file. Name it radfrac and save the file as a .apw file. This concludes the eighth video of the hydrogenation of benzene to cyclohexane series. Please continue to video nine, which will add radfrac distillation columns, additional streams, and unit blocks.